last name, Christian, but but you, your friend downloaded Tor onto his phone, I gather. Haha, <laughs> yes. Hiya, Jeremy. Hey. Sorry if my voice is a bit shaky. I've never been on the radio. My man's going mad in the back <laughs> Right, OK. Uh, well, hold it steady. Hello, hello. Morning. Tea? No, uh, I'm all right, thanks. Jasper, get down. So, tell me everything. I was walking along the lane at the point which passes the old Iron Age burial mound when the dog began to bark and act strangely. He was barking in the direction of the barrow and would not go anywhere near it, which was strange as we walked past it almost every day. I was curious and approached the mound to see what could be disturbing him. Then I noticed something odd. In the side of the barrow, there was a fissure, as if a section of ground had subsided or opened up. The crack measured about two feet long and one foot wide and looked to have been formed recently as I had never seen it before. I knelt down and looked inside the dark hole. The hill seemed to be hollow like a cave and I could feel a cool draft against my skin. I used the small LED torch on my car keys to check if I could see anything in the darkness. It was at this point I saw something that startled me. Two or three feet in front I could see a human-like figure, only this thing was much smaller than a normal person. My initial instinct was to call the police as I thought it may be the body of a small child, but as I looked closer I could see this was not the case. It was too small, and more importantly it had what appeared to be wings. Not wanting to touch it I used a stick to carefully drag it out and picked it up in one of the dog's poo bags. Where's it now? In this tin. Oh my god. I should tell the press. Why would you do that? Do fairies live at the bottom of your garden? Maybe not anymore, but a recent discovery would suggest they probably did. What appears to be the mummified remains of a fairy have been discovered in the Derbyshire countryside. The eight-inch remains, complete with wings, skin, teeth and flowing red hair, have been examined by anthropologists and forensic experts who can confirm that the body is genuine. X-rays of the fairy reveal an anatomically identical skeleton to that of a child. The bones, however, are hollow, like those of a bird, making them particularly light. The puzzling presence of a navel even suggests that the beings reproduce the same as humans, despite the absence of reproductive organs. The remains were discovered by a local man while walking his dog along an old Roman road situated between the Derbyshire villages of Duffield and Belper. It has not been substantiated how long the remains have been there, although the state of mummification would suggest more than 400 years.